your post game with Braden Merritt after a 10 to 9 win for New Mexico over UC Riverside. Braden, uh, give us your initial thoughts on the on the win here, the second win of the weekend. You take the series. It was good. It was good to get a series win. I mean, it seems like we've been kind of on a snide for a little bit, but you know, it was good getting back and getting a little win streak going. I know it's two games, but it's just good to get that win. You know, coach um, has talked about over the last little bit just the importance of the bottom of the lineup being productive um, and helping an impact with the lineup and extending the lineup. Today, I would say that was done, particularly with you with three hits, um, one of them two being a hustle double. Um, talk about what you, the success you had today offensively, because it's, it's been a struggle throughout this part of the year, and you're starting to kind of hit a stride now that you're getting consistent at bats. But specifically today, what, what felt right? Uh, I mean, I was just honestly just seeing the ball well, just getting my foot down. Um, like you said, it's been a struggle, that's for sure. But I mean, the last five or six games, I felt like my bat at bats have been a lot better. Um, but yeah, the, the production from the bottom of the lineup, I mean, I think between me, Reese, and Derek, we got on the base at least six times. So that's good. I mean, we need to keep doing that for sure. Yeah, I mentioned your hustle double, but there was probably two or three other ones from other teammates um, where you guys just very aggressive, taking a hard turn off of first and digging in and getting a double. Is there anything that's said amongst the team of, hey, we need to leg out everything we can get? Or, you know, what do you attribute to that? Because it was several times you took advantage of just slow uh, slow play by the outfielders and getting the extra base. Well, yeah, it starts it starts with us watching them take in and out and how, you know, us looking at their arms and seeing how they approach the ball. And we definitely talk about that. We talk about, hey, we need to be hustling out of the box because hustle doubles are the best thing. And we love them. And, uh, you know, we got, what do you say, three or four, I think, today. Mm -hmm. So that was awesome. It's good to see that. You mentioned the, the good vibes now in the, in the clubhouse, winning two in a row. You go into uh, another difficult road test at Texas Tech for a couple of games. They'll be nationally ranked again. Uh, beat them one, one, won one game, lost the game against them here at home. So there is some confidence there. But how do you think the team is feeling, maybe looking ahead, if you've had to uh, towards Texas Tech this week? This was a big momentum weekend. We needed to get two or three. I mean, we would have obviously loved to sweep, but to get two or three, um, you know, it's good going into not only tech, but I mean, our main focus is obviously, obviously the weekend in Mountain West. So we're looking forward to that. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Does that work? You have sound? Yep. All right, we're here post game with head baseball coach Ray Birmingham following a 10 to 9 win for the Lobos against UC Riverside. Coach, you take the final two games of the series to take the series, both of them one run games. This one. Again, down to the wire, uh, some tense moments there at the end. What are your initial thoughts on, on the win today? We won. Yay. <laughs> the, uh, you know, it was the Hayden Schilling, we took him out of shortstop because his knee was bothering him. So we let Nick Atkins try, and Nick didn't have a good day. So we replaced the defense again, and it worked out okay. But the defense was just absolutely bad today, both teams. And uh, so – the the hero of the game to me was was Hayden Schilling coming in at the end of the game and and, and getting the out. You know that that was big. That's a gutsy moment. And for this team, for this team to get better, they have to have clutch pitching, clutch defense, clutch hitting. And if you're not a clutch player, you, it's not. It, you probably need to think about it a little bit. So Hayden Schilling's been a clutch player his whole life as a Lobo. It's uh, he still is. You, know, you mentioned he was getting a day off from the lineup that normally you're shortstop but has pitched for you, especially late in games. Was there any discussion? Was yeah, that's why we did it. Him? Well, he wasn't. No, there wasn't any discussion. No convincing. We told him the plan, and the plan was he was going to come in and close the game and win the game. And work. Talk about uh, your offense. Again, you score 10 runs. You had a big sixth inning. Um, one of the things that really stood out were the hustle doubles. There was probably three or four in the game of balls that, you know, short outfield. And mm -hmm. Guys were very aggressive out of the box coming around first, and they're, they're legging out doubles for hustle doubles. How important is that, knowing you're getting that kind of effort from your players? Hustle doubles are, are part of this baseball field in, in us. This, this field is so big, the outfielders have to play so deep with the wind and all that that um, hustle doubles are common if you just do it and trust it. Because as far away as those outfielders are when they have to make that strong throw, they're probably not going to throw a strike. And if you don't throw a strike to, to the bag, then you're safe. And kids believe it. They've seen it now.
you know, you've mentioned in the past, you know, week or so, two weeks, the importance of, of the bottom of your lineup, you know, getting stuff, getting on base, uh, producing for you to kind of help help out the lineup and extend it. You got some production on the bottom of, of your order today, five hits between Merritt and then Marshall who came in late. But just talk about uh, Merritt in particular because he had one of those hustle doubles and, and kind of what what that provided today, getting that production from the bottom of your order. Well, we, we've been counting on Merritt to, to be that guy. And uh, he's learning how to play baseball. He's a great kid. Oh, my God, he's a great kid. But, he, you know, he fly ball hitter and, uh, and you know, handling a bat and doing those things. So he did it today. He flipped that double to left. That was the thing that I thought was awesome because he's learning how to play, and uh, it'll be a good addition down the road. Moving forward, you get the, you get the two wins here in this series. You're on a winning streak. The, the momentum and the feeling in the clubhouse is great. You hit the road for another tough test against Texas Tech and then also with eyes towards the weekend and wanting to continue to improve up in conference play. What do you take out of these two games and how do you spin that forward into your remaining games? Well, once again, we, uh, we, we break from a weekend series. We won, and then there's another nationally ranked team at their place. It's going to be really, really hard. It, the odds are not in our favor. And then you're going to roll into Fresno. The schedule that we have this year has been brutal because it, it taxes the pitching staff. So at least we got Sunday off tomorrow, and then we go Monday, we'll go to Lubbock. So we got a couple days off. But then we got Tuesday, Wednesday, then we go come back here, and then we get on a plane and go to Fresno on Thursday, and we get back late Thursday night, I mean Wednesday night, and get early Thursday morning, get on a plane at 11 o'clock and fly out. So it's, that's the hard part of all this. And we're not sleeping in our beds and getting really good rest and having a little good workouts and having, having a massage person come in and take care of us. It's not happening. You're just foot soldiers and you just got to fight through it. And we still have some people banged up and we have some people in a slump. So all this, all this is happening. I got to tip my hat to these kids for as hard as they, they play hard. They play really hard. And, um, and they're here. And it wasn't too long ago that we thought we weren't going to be here, and now we're permanently here. So that's cool. And these kids are battling for the good old University of New Mexico. Appreciate your time, Coach. Thank you. Yep.